The average price to rent a two bedroom condo in downtown Toronto has just surpassed $3,300 per month. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that looks like. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dimitri Genitos with eXp Realty. I've got a real estate team here in the GTA where we help clients buy, sell, and lease real estate. So if you're looking to get in touch about that, I've left some links down in the description below where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with myself. And if you're a real estate agent and you're looking for a great team with some awesome calls, I've also left a link down in the description for you guys as well, or you can learn more information about that. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the average price to rent a two bedroom condo in downtown Toronto is over $3,300 a month now, which is crazy. Everybody's talking about it. The Toronto Star just posted an article talking about it. And they also mentioned how the average price for a one bedroom is over $2,500 a month. This is a new all time high for rents in Toronto. We're up anywhere from 20 to 25% of the price that we saw the same time last year. And a big reason for these increases increases is because the Bank of Canada has been constantly increasing interest rates since about March and forcing a lot of people who would normally be first time home buyers into the rental market, increasing demand and causing a little bit of a frenzy. That and a lot of these would be first time home buyers that are returning to the rental market are typically making higher than average salaries. They've got large sums saved up for down payments and they're more qualified to pay higher amounts for rents, increasing the prices even more. And the unfortunate thing is, is that they expect rents to continue to increase in the coming months. So it doesn't look like this is something that's going to go away anytime soon. That being said, it could be worse. Our counterparts in Vancouver are seeing the average two bedroom go for over $3,600 a month and the average one bedroom go over $2,600 a month. So if that's any consolation, I mean, I guess there you go. But this morning I was on some showings downtown for an investor client. I had to crunch some numbers for them to find out exactly what these apartments would rent for when they buy them. So I figured since I was down here, I'm going to take you guys on a little bit of a vlog style tour and show you guys exactly what your money gets at various price points in downtown Toronto so you can be well prepared when you go apartment hunting. So the first condo that we're going to see today is actually a bachelor condo at 8 Mercer. If you're not familiar with 8 Mercer, it's at King & John. It's an incredible building. A lot of investors like it. Maintenance fees are really low. A lot of tenants like it. The location's incredible. So we're going to go check that out. And then also just so you guys know to keep you know compare apples to apples the whole time here everything that we're looking at today is in you know core downtown Toronto okay I've got a few different neighborhoods but for the most part all these neighborhoods are gonna rent very close to the same most of them are newer buildings I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of variety we're just pulling up here so I'm gonna see you guys inside we are in the first unit at 8 Mercer Street like I said this is a studio apartment so there's no bedroom it is just a flat and it's about 440 40 square feet okay so starting off the front door here you walk in you've got your bathroom off to the left it's a super standard three-piece bathroom no tub just a stand-up shower make your way further in here you've got your coat closet right here and I will say I picked this studio because I think that 8 Mercer has the best studios as you can see when you walk in you actually have a pretty big space it's efficiently laid out you've got a nice big island that also doubles as like a desk or your eating space and then just really nice finishes, quartz countertops, you've got an electric cooktop, oven, dishwasher, everything that you need. We've got washer dryer right here, yep. And then uh, integrated fridge built into the cabinetry, really, really nice. Uh, but I will say, one of the best things about these studios is that they actually also come with a really nice sized balcony. This particular unit is facing west and these used to get really good lighting until the Nobu residents went up and basically just blocks the sunlight all day. So as you can see, you're pretty socked in here from condos in pretty much every direction. So this unit is gonna be a little dark. This particular unit is on the market for $2,300 per month, okay? So I hope that gives you guys some perspective as to what $2,300 a month gets you in downtown Toronto right now. Like I said, I picked this because it's actually a really big studio. If you go for something that's maybe like a, you know, 380 square foot condo, you're looking at maybe 2,100 uh, a month, but for for a big studio, 2300 a month, this is really standard and this is a really good unit. So with that being said, we're gonna head over to the next condo, which is in King West. It's gonna be at the Harlow and it's a really nice loft style unit. I'm gonna show you what the average one bedroom looks like. 
We are in the one bedroom at the Harlow at 608 Richmond. And I'm gonna start off by saying I'm a big fan of this building. I actually like all Brad Lamb buildings. Say what you want about Brad Lamb, you know, and all the stuff that's been happening in the news. His condos are really nice. They have the soft loft feel with the exposed concrete ceilings. They're efficiently laid out. Other than this one, this one's not the best layout, but they're usually really efficiently laid out. Maintenance fees are low, so everything checks out. Okay, starting off towards the front door, the first thing that you're gonna notice about this condo is that it has a big, long hallway, which is not ideal, okay? Whether you're looking to buy or you're looking to lease, you know, this is extra square footage that you're paying for that you're not necessarily using effectively. So this particular layout is pretty inefficient, but I feel like it's still a really good example of what, you know, an average one bedroom condo in Toronto looks like. Now, off to your left, you've got your four piece bathroom and making our way further in through the hallway, you will see that they've got these really nice exposed concrete features in these condos. This is what we call a soft loft. This is something that kind of mimics um, a typical hard loft, right? With the industrial features. And they've also got the really nice factory style windows there. This unit is a junior one bedroom, which basically means that the bedroom is recessed on the inside of the condo and doesn't have its own exterior window. It just has these you know, sliding glass doors, which technically makes it a window and a bedroom because in order to be classified as a bedroom, you need a window and a closet. Um, but that being said, you know, this is a space, this is a living room. We've got nice high ceilings here. Like we're probably 10 foot ceilings, which is really nice. It makes the space feel a lot bigger. And if we go into the bedroom here, you've actually got a decent sized bedroom with quite a bit of closet space. If I'm not mistaken, the washer dryer should also be in here somewhere. There's half of your closet. Washer dryer's gotta be in here. Yep, there we go. So, you know, washer dryer right in your bedroom, maybe not ideal. Keep in mind too that this does not come with a parking space, it's just what you see here. And I will say, you know, if you're wondering why it's staged, um, this really does look like it's set up for an Airbnb or a short-term rental, which is not within the condo bylaws, but uh, I mean, they could be renting it out for 30 days plus, which they might be able to get away with. But you know, when we see the furniture and there's, you know, nothing in the fridge, that's a telltale sign. Um, and then of course, we've also got dishes for, you know, someone who's staying here in the short term. And then of course, you know, the towel on the bed, like short term. But yeah, this is a really nice space. Guys, let me know down in the comment section what you think about this one for $2,500 a month. And I know that, you know, this video might be upsetting to some because, you know, you feel like you should be able to get more in the city for less. But unfortunately, this is the reality of how much these condos are going for. And I will say, I, I particularly like this building. But now we're gonna head to the two bedroom condo and I'm gonna show you exactly what $3,300 a month looks like downtown. Okay, so the two bedroom unit that we were actually on our way to go see right now just got leased. I just got notice from the listing agent that it's not available anymore, which is crazy because it hit the market this morning, but it goes to show you how quickly this market is moving right now. I'm sure somebody came in and put in a blind offer on it without even seeing it, which people are doing in some cases. So that one's not available, but that's totally fine because I actually had planned on showing you guys one more bonus condo uh, in the two bedroom category. And and this one, I tried to find something that's a really good deal for you know that price range, right? So we're gonna head to Fort York, which is a little bit of a cheaper area, but still kind of on the outskirts of downtown Toronto. You're gonna get a little bit more bang for buck out here. And this building in particular is 38 Ianusi. Uh, it's a brand new building. I've had clients buy and rent in there. So it's a really good building and I think it's a really good value. So I'm gonna take you guys there right now. We're in the condo right now. This one is a two bedroom, two bathroom. It's approximately 700 square feet. Like I mentioned, it's in a brand new building. I don't even know if anybody's ever lived in this unit. Um, it looks like no one's ever touched it, but we're gonna start the tour off at the door. So front door's right here. You walk in through a little corridor here and you've got your coat closet right there. Moving on in a little further, you've got a four piece bathroom right here. So this is where your guests are gonna uh, be using the bathroom or whoever's using the second bedroom. And then moving a little bit further in, you've got your kitchen right here. And the finishes in this building are quite nice. Everything's integrated, quartz countertops. We've got our over the range microwave and it is big. Everything is kitchen aid, actual size appliances, not condo size appliances, which is really, really nice. Now they've got this little cart here that kind of rolls, you know, this is kind of like your floating island, I guess. I'm not really 100% sure where you put it. I guess you 
maybe slide it in right here. I mean, nice little bonus to have, uh, and it's good that you can move it because I couldn't really see it actually being a problem right there. But, you know, this is 700 square feet. So for two bedroom, two bathroom, it's a little tight, um, but it's compact, it's efficient, it works, and this is literally what you could expect. So this being the bigger of the bedrooms right here, you've got access to your balcony, uh, you've got your closets behind me, and then you also have a three-piece ensuite right here. Oh, and this one also comes with a parking space, which is really, really nice. So this is your living space. It's a corner unit, which allows for a lot of light, you know, floor to ceiling windows everywhere. And it's a decent sized living space. You put your TV over here. You know, you could put a couch maybe, you know, in the middle here facing there with a little chair. Uh, however you want to set it up, you could also put potentially a little desk there um, and then access to your balcony here. But going into the second bedroom, you know, pretty standard. You get a queen bed in here. Definitely couldn't do a king, but it works. You know, it's functional. It works. Like I said, lots of lighting. If you're looking for something new um, and bright, this is your guy. But I will say the one bad thing about this condo is the fact that the gardener is right there. Okay, this is pretty common in Fort York because Fort York runs right along the gardener and a lot of units face this, but I mean, it could be worse. You could be, you know, that building right there, that unit where you could literally give them a high five as they drive by on the road. Um, but we're, we're 20 floors up here. You know, you definitely get a little bit of a hum from the road, but it's definitely manageable. And then coming around the other side on the balcony, you actually have a really nice view of the lake over here. You know, right now, the sun's actually starting to go down. So we got some nice colors coming over the sky. So that is the tour of this condo. Now this one, as I mentioned, two bedroom, two bathroom with a parking space listed for $3,250 per month, which I think is really good value for a new building. But like I mentioned, we're on the outskirts of you know the downtown core in Fort York. And if we were to get, say, this same condo in downtown, we have to probably sacrifice a little bit on the finishes and maybe get a little bit of an older condo and we would likely lose the parking space. But you know, this is what you can expect for that, you know, $3,200, $3,300 average price for a two bedroom now in Toronto. So I wanted to bring you guys in here and kind of show you some of the units and what your money gets you because I know that, you know, a lot of people are talking on the news about rents increasing, but there's no context to it because you can't really see what they actually look like. So I wanted to bring that for you guys. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Again, if anybody's looking to get in touch with myself or someone on my team, I've left a link down in the description below. Uh, as always, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next video.